Welcome to Historical. I'm Jason, joined as always by David and Michael. Hello. Hello. And we here at Historical, we like to take a funny look at history. And today, what are we looking at, Jason? Today we're looking at one Queen Victoria of House Hanover. Victoria. Queen of the United Kingdom and Ireland. Oh, that's more than one. And also Empress of India. What? <laughs> uh, yeah. Empress of India sounds cool. Great great female rock band. Empress Desi of, band. It's a Bollywood. I don't know if that's a, a yeah, I don't that's not a rock name. Empress of India sounds yeah. like some It's like, like a weird like um black metal band. Pop fusion Indian band. I'm hearing Enya. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're in 1817. <laughs> The United Kingdom. Currently one King George the Third sits the throne. And we all know who King George is. He just recently, thirty years prior, lost a colony or two. Yep. To some treasonous motherfuckers some over in America. Colonists. Treason. <laughs> Treason. <laughs> but as always with the British, it seems, there was a question of succession. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in charge? You think I had to, they had like hundreds of years to figure this shit out. I think you someone think just wrote a list down. <laughs> like, well, this happens, this happens, that happens, this happens. <laughs> right? Well, at the time, <laughs> right? 1817, Princess Charlotte was, someone get a quill. was the heir apparent, but she died giving birth to a stillborn baby oh. Oh, at the tender age of 21. Ooh. Tragic. Which threw everything into chaos because now there was no heir victoria yep. so now all of edward or uh, and there was no one to produce an heir yeah king george wasn't fucking so his sons his who weren't engaged or they were married but two two were married but estranged from their wives and the younger two weren't married at all so then all of a sudden pressure got put on everyone to be okay start spreading the seed we need to keep this line going. Start spreading the sea. <laughs> <laughs> we need an heir today. <laughs> so Prince Edward, the fourth son of King George, ah. marries Princess Victoria of Germany in 1818. Victoria. And then a year later, May 24th, Victoria is born. Oh. Oh, oh little good baby. Oh, bouncing baby girl. Oh, baby. It's not a very original name, I have to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's there's quite a few Victorias. There's a, there's a lot of that. A lot Ed, of that going around. <laughs> Edwards and Alberts as well. Alberts and Alberts and Victorias and Alberts and Edwards. <laughs> so Victoria's father, Edward, died a year later oh. of typhoid fever. Yeah. Very sad. Very sad. Very sad. And then a couple weeks after that, her grandfather died, King George. <sighs> George. George. So then the eldest son was coronated as King George the Fourth, And now Victoria is third in line. She got two uncles ahead of her, and then it's her. Yep. And That's she killed them. Sounds <laughs> right. <laughs> so while, she, uncle while she's growing up, you know, she doesn't have a father. It's just her mother who is fucking crazy. <laughs> Let's just stress that. <laughs> fucking and crazy. She decides to keep Victoria from everything, like very sheltered life. She only really saw teachers. She learned multiple languages, but yeah, she didn't really consort with anyone. She, she was really, smart, but she didn't really have friends. Didn't know the ways of the world. Mom just kept her away from everyone. So she's kind of like uh, that lady in that movie. He's like in a so Teller. she's like she doesn't have a lot of social skills. Yeah, she's she's intellectually on the level, but and some might even say advanced. But she she's not really some. <laughs> some could argue somewhere. I don't know. You know. <laughs> not too many. Are people. they in this room right now? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no people skills. And it was called the Kensington system, where she was shut in. Uh, and her so Jason mother was raised her. <laughs> her mother. Her mother worked with the comptroller. Who oh. is a man who deals with all the finances of the family? Ah, uh, yes, John the Comptroller, John Conroy, John Conroy, the Comptroller, <laughs> Comptroller John Conroy. 
And there was rumor that Conroy was boning uh, Victoria's mom, and that's why they were in cahoots so often. So in 1830, train. King George IV dies. No. <laughs> oh. So the throne passed to the next surviving brother, William. Yep. And there's only one more, right? And now Victoria is next second in next in line. She's number two. And then we had the Regency Act of 1830 pass, which made a special provision for Victoria's mom to act as regent in case William died while Victoria was still underage. Ah, uh, yes. The Regency Act. Of 1830, yes. Of 1830, yeah. Mm. Familiar with that. Mm. King William was like, well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to live till she's 18, so we won't have to deal with that. Yeah, William. All these people are dropping like flies from plague and typhoid fever, but not me, bitch. He just yeah. writes another law. He's like, if I die, just leave me on the throne and don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so. He's looking pretty skeletal. Don't worry. It's the keto diet. <laughs> also, around 1830, uh, Victoria's mother started planning little progressions across Britain, little travel trips. Hey, get out there and meet the people. <laughs> You're socialized. Yeah. <laughs> Go outside for a little bit. Stop writing Latin and shit. Oh, how are you, you little girl? <laughs> I don't like this. I want to go back to right Latin. <laughs> oh, yeah, you. <laughs> You're a pasty one, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, just like mud streets, you know, probably wearing like a ball gown. <laughs> Let me go see what's going on with the peasants. Oh, uh, yeah, we got shit pie today. <laughs> <laughs> so Fresh sh shit. <laughs> Anybody wash themselves in the fresh shit pile? <laughs> She loathed. We got a big one today. <laughs> she loathed the trips. She hated it. Oh, yeah. She exactly. Hated, she hated was, the common man. And But her mother Commoners. was just for six, for five or six years, she was just traveling all over Great Britain. And William, King William hated it because he's like, well, she's going to try and supplant me. She's like putting herself out there and shit. I don't like this. That's just, what is going on here? She's like campaigning for my seat. <laughs> I don't like this. I've got me nervous. But Conspiracy. as Conspiracy. was the one of the time being a young woman, she was being sought after by many a suitor. Sought after. Oh, yeah, girl. Hey, lady. <laughs> <laughs> hey, lady. Why is it Australian? Well, that actually comes up. <laughs> hey, <Because>. lady. <laughs> You like my dead kangaroo here. <laughs> so in 1836, Victoria's maternal uncle, Leopold, who had been king of the Belgians. Leopold. Since 1831. Leopold. <laughs> Hi, I'm Leopold. Had ideas to marry her to Prince Albert, the son of his brother. He's so, got plans. Grand plans. Leo got in contact with Victoria's mom. Leo's an idea. Because man. they're, you know, brother and sister. But <laughs> William obviously didn't like the idea. Pretty much anything Victoria's mom tried to do. Oh, William, I, William was just like, well, this is... What are you doing over there? <laughs> What's what going you, on with that? What, what are you doing? Why are you marrying? No one try to marry each other, right? She shouldn't live her life because you know what? Damn it, I'm living mine. <laughs> it's like slams open the door. Like some kids under the blade. Like, well, no one's getting married in here, right? <laughs> <laughs> aye, 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 aye. We, no marriage here. No be marrying anybody now, eh? All right, slowly close the door with the eye staring. <laughs> I see you. William's always watching. So King William tried to force <laughs> Prince Alexander of the Netherlands onto her. Oi. As always with historical ladies, we learn the most from them from the journals because they just love... Everyone loves publishing diaries and such. Well, yeah, I mean... And it's not just like everybody back in these days, if you're educated, you just wrote down stuff all the time. She wrote 2,500 words a day. Yeah. More she had 126 that. volumes of diaries by the time she died. Bitch wrote. Yeah, and see, here's the thing. <laughs> Bitch be writing. There's like this whole thing with, because especially in, in the past, like, you know, there's not a lot of educated people, just period. And I mean, you same can oh, be some said. Shit, bye. <laughs> same can be said for today. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the, Learning this a, room. <laughs> the access to education has become a lot greater. So... Back in the day, it was really important for people who were educated to actually write stuff because there was just not a lot of people writing stuff. So it's like if you had the ability to do it, you should have been doing it because that was just keeping records for future generations, which we now base a lot of our historical interpretation on this stuff. So continue, Jason. Sorry for getting serious all of a sudden. Let's bring the funny. 
Oi. So she wrote, Albert is extremely handsome. His hair is about the same color as mine. His eyes are large and blue. And he has a beautiful nose and a sweet, very sweet mouth with fine teeth. But the charm of his countenance is in his expression, which is most delightful. People mm. had bad teeth back then. That was probably definitely a turn on. Albert's beautiful nose. <laughs> you have a w- fine mouth. And of course, fine teeth. Fine teeth. Oh, those teeth are fine. Of mm. Prince Alex. Show me that hey, teeth. girl. Let me you see. You got them. some fine ass teeth. <laughs> All right. Of Prince Alexander, she's just, he's very plain. Only one snaggle tooth. It's good back then. <laughs> back then, yeah, without no de- no dentistry. Oh, it wouldn't teeth, eh? She really liked Albert, but she didn't want to get married at the time. What a uh, woman. Not right now. <sighs> I like you, but not yet. I just got to go find myself. Friend zone. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I just got to be me for now. I bought and, you a you palace. Know, <laughs> it's nice, but... I'm sorry, Albert. (laughs) So she turned 18 a year later, May 24th, 1837. And then the regency was avoided. King William had his way. And then a month later, he died. (laughs) 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 He was like, I lived, bitch. Wait. (laughs) (laughs) Suck it. (laughs) (laughs) He's choking on himself. And he died at 71, which at the time. Pretty old. Damn. Good job. Yeah, he lasted hit, there. That le- that home it stretch. It was a spite. It was a spite. Oh yeah, <laughs> so the fact that he died a month after just shows you that Fuck he was. You. <laughs> that, that, he did that, that home stretch was probably getting pretty rough for him, but he toughed it out and, and survived another month. How old are you again? Oh damn it! Yeah. I want to die. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's, it's such a pain to live. I have no intestines anymore. <laughs> Existence is suffering. <laughs> yeah, life is pain. How old is she? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> and not until that damn Regency Act of 1830s avoided. Regency avoided. <laughs> so her coronation took place on June 28th, 1838 in Westminster Abbey. Over 400,000 visitors came to London for the celebrations. It was probably like half the country at the time. And she became the first <laughs> British sovereign to take like up residence. Woodstock stock of the era. <laughs> at Buckingham Palace. Victoria 69. <laughs> Victoria. Queen Vic. Crown Vic. Wait, that's a I car. Mean, <laughs> <laughs> also, who it was named after, so. Yeah. Hmm. She loved cars. <laughs> she, <laughs> she invented cars. She invented law enforcement <laughs> vehicles. <laughs> yeah, <vehicles. laughs> she mandated the the the, car- the uh, buggy horse and buggy to be carrying around the constables <laughs> or whatever. Is that what Constable they're called? Conroy constables. <laughs> it is like police. Yes. Or yeah. the constables. Yeah. So I'm I'm historically accurate with my fetch the constables, sir. Well, at the beginning of her reign, she was quite popular. You know, having gone traveled the country, okay. everyone's seen her. You know, she's she's. Seen her. A Everyone's young like, queen. A young pasty queen. <laughs> David hung up on the pasty. <laughs> well, hey, he's the one who said it. But her, <laughs> don't blame me. Her reputation I'm suffered. I'm just referencing the narrative. <laughs> in 1839, during some court intrigue, when one of her mother's ladies in waiting, Lady Flora Hastings, developed an abdominal growth that was quickly rumored. An abdominal growth? Is that what you meant to say? Yeah. Okay. She getting fat. She is she. Getting so fat. it was rumored that she was preggers. Preggers by John Conroy. <gasps> I'm preggers, Annie. Oh, wait, Conroy by Sir John Conroy, the comptroller. The comptroller Conroy. Comptroller Conroy. Yes, that's right. Getting it done. <laughs> and Victoria, With Lady Hastings, <laughs> <laughs> just fed into these rumors, so kicked everyone out. She just got rid of everyone. Even the pregnant one? Yeah. Huh. But then the Tories. Constable Conroy was like, still beat though. <laughs> Clap cheeks. <laughs> the Tories right organized a press campaign <laughs> implicating the queen in the spreading of these terrible rumors about oh. Lady Flora. Oh, heavens. Clutch my pearl. <laughs> and when Lady Flora died. Clutch my abdominal growth. <laughs> It was actually found that she had a large tumor on her liver oh. <laughs> that pushed itself out. Oh, God. And it made it seem like she was pregnant. Holy crap. That's my excuse, folks, for why I'm fat. 
Conroy was probably like after the fact was like I would have never touched her. <laughs> she was well below my standards. Yeah, uh, stomach abdominal growths and shit. I don't mess with those kind of chicks. <laughs> Conroy was an asshole, folks. Let's just get that clear. Constable. Con. He was not a constable. He was a comptroller. He was a comptroller. Comptroller. <laughs> comptroller Conroy. Com asshole. So once that dust settled, you know she's just being queen, and at that time. It was a constitutional Is monarchy. The so the responsibilities of the monarchy were slowly fading away. Yeah. As the parliament started taking more control. Like dust yep, yep, yep. in the wind. <laughs> uh, but as an unmarried queen, she was still forced to live with her mother, who is she's sort of still a little sour about with how she uh, was raised. <laughs> oh, Okay. So she confined her mom to a small corner of Buckingham Palace and never saw her. So it's yeah. like, if I have to live with you, uh, I'm never going to see you. That's interesting. You got to live with your mom. It's like, well, do I get to choose where to live? Yeah. Can I just like lock her in a room? It's sure. like you're the queen. You can put her wherever. You can put her to death just if make you sure want. You, just make sure you live with her. <laughs> did, she, did she have to live with her or could she have just like taken her out back? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> by the shed. By the shed. <laughs> I'm sure you could have just murdered her, but it's her mother. And also, but, the, she, but she was sour. But still, it's a mother's it's, love. I mean, honestly, it's like keeping them locked up in a room in a palace for like till they die is probably a worse torture than just getting taken out back, getting the shovel. <laughs> but <laughs> so, well, Tammy, get the shovel. <laughs> Conroy, <laughs> get the shovel. <laughs> If it well, her <laughs> advisors were telling her, "Well, if you don't like living with your mother, simple solution: get married, and then your mom can move out." Because it's just because she's a single maiden lady. Oh, okay, that's the reason why my mom's gonna stay there. Really? Yeah. Wow. Societal societal mores. Because <laughs> she can't be, she the can't mores. live by herself with guards. You know, she could be defiled. Like her mom's gonna save her. You no, know, there's you know the. Is her mom appearance like, of wait, virtue? So like guards would like not even be like it's like it's the fucking queen. They're just like, well, I'm gonna just go ahead and try my luck here at like and defile her and defiling the queen. It hey, queenie. Well, it was. The, I'm <laughs> sure. I'm sure it was the elite mentality that if you left a royal with a bunch of fucking peasants, that they would just you know rape and murder her. They're savages, yeah. of course. Yeah, savages, okay. savages. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. But there was no like. Kingsguard, that was like. I'm sure there was. Loyal. And I'm. The I'm, Kingsguard. The Queen's Guard. That's right. Well, you know what Queen I mean. Queen Rice. Wait. Basically, an elite, a, a fun, a, an elite bodyguard system that weren't just like. They're you're, the, you're they're like the, resentful ass, like making barely anything, practically a slave soldier that's just like guarding the door that gets shot <laughs> by an arrow. <laughs> First thing you get shot yeah, by an arrow. Yeah, shot by an arrow. Got shot by a friggin' M60. <laughs> Well, there's on the crown Vic. They just drive it through the palace gates. There's flintlocks running around. It's like right fortunate now. son comes playing through God. Fucking <laughs> Huey. He's tearing him up with the M60. It ain't me. What is that racket? It's like, okay, wrong, wrong era. Sorry. When Victoria was born. So while she still loved Albert. She was more concerned about his education because she wanted to make sure he was going to be the most pristine husband. Oh, oh way to be a lady. So she's like, I still, I still don't want to get married. I know he's rich, but I don't like the way he folds the sheets at home. He could be, he could be better. He's learning. But then he started. Oh, he dressed like Leopold. <laughs> he started coming around Britain and on his second visit in October 3rd, 1839 coming around she proposed to him oh she proposed oh. to him i guess we know who wears the pants oh. <laughs> who wears the leotard <laughs> and then they were married february 10th 1840 in the chapel royal of saint james palace in london saint james street james <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Obscure <laughs> reference right there. If you there. know what Don't that is, Google you know what that. it is. Actually, you should. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> but anyway, back to her wedding. <laughs> so, married. And, uh, married. It was a banger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Albert, acted, Albert acted fast because got her pit bull was there. Pre pregnant in no time. 
<laughs> during the wedding. Yeah, it was before the wedding. <laughs> before, during. They after. just lied. <laughs> it's like a baby fell out during the wedding. They're like, oh, yeah. There was already a baby there. <laughs> super sperm. But they don't even know about that back then. And so, so they're traveling around, you know, king and queen, seeing the people. And this 18-year-old, Edward Oxford, just tries to assassinate her. Edward just Oxford? Tried? Wait, what? Yeah. Runs up to her carriage. I'm smart. And fired twice, though the bullets missed. And later he claimed that the, the guns were empty. It was just, it was blanks. But was there evidence that, like, it was not blanks? Like, they were shot through the carriage? Buggy, whatever. No, it's, is. they went up. He was probably trying to like like point the gun like oh hopefully this is how you use it bang like one goes in the ceiling like oh crap uh, this one oh, it's it still like, working bang let me try and shoot the like, queen so my he, queen he tempted or uh, want it. pled insanity and got off I'm crazy <laughs> I just shoot guns at the queen I'm crazy <laughs> sorry I thought she was Conroy and he was <laughs> committed to an insane asylum indefinitely and then eventually just sent to Australia. Because that's what British the penal did. colony, <laughs> Britain's penal colony, an entire Man, continent. Getting sent to Australia must have really sucked back then. Simply just for the ride over. Nevertheless, when you get there and everything can kill you, <laughs> the kangaroos are poison. <laughs> I mean, it must have taken months and months. It probably take longer to get to Australia than friggin' America. Yes, it would. <laughs> Dude, Australia, man, that's crazy. That's it's just an entire continent is a penal colony. And it's on fire now. Escape from Australia. That's what they should have made. <laughs> yeah, should. You know what? Somebody get Kurt Russell on the phone. Get Kurt Russell. On the, get Snake Plissken on the phone. Escape from Australia. First, he escaped from New York. <laughs> I'm surprised they actually haven't made a sequel to the, one of those movies like recently. Because they made New York and L.A. and then that was it. Right? Well, I mean, it's not like L.A. was good. But... That's not real history. <laughs> but what about like escape from DC or Australia? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or Australia. Australia is burning. <laughs> Only one man can put out the fire. <laughs> he did an old he rides snake a kangaroo plisket. in. I mean, Kurt Russell could probably still do it. Of course he can. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Kurt, I'm speaking right to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Call us. I know you'll hear this. <laughs> we'll get it set up. <laughs> get your agent to contact us. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have one. <laughs> Kurt Russell be our agent. So af immediately after the attack, her popularity soared. Of course. Which like sort of negated the whole Hastings matter where <laughs> the Hastings she threw all that shade at that uh, poor woman with the abscess. That Victoria. Uh, yes. So the public kind of had a bad taste in their mouth. Yeah because of that and then assassin we all as we all know is this historically assassination attempts uh draw if you great, survive if you survive draw a great deal of public sympathy but even if you die i mean it's worse if you die i mean people are just torn up about it but but if you survive then Sometimes. you get a lot of sympathy from the public even if you're even if you aren't like you know cool that great it does it does boost your poll numbers <laughs> So if you're an asshole, just die tragically, and people will like you slightly more. <laughs> or or don't die tragically, and people will still like slightly like like you more. Get yourself in a situation where you could potentially or potentially not die tragically, <laughs> <laughs> and people will like you either way. <laughs> Go drive the wrong way down the street and say you couldn't see. <laughs> it was foggy. No. Oh. So in October or November of 1840, her first daughter Victoria was born what Victoria. an original name holy crap and from i'm blown away wasn't her mom victoria too i do believe so yeah so it's victoria victoria and victoria <laughs> the three v's victoria so it's like, Vicky. A, it's like a venereal disease <laughs> the queen hated got being the victoria pregnant. i got the three victorious <laughs> <laughs> triple v <laughs> sorry Jason. triple vic keep Shh. interrupting you hated being pregnant Hated it. Thought this is the worst thing ever. Thought that, breastfeeding was disgusting. That's a hot take. I've never met a woman who just loves being pregnant. Well, you've never met Queen Victoria. <laughs> thought babies were uh, ugly. <laughs> this is yeah. This is great. Is that this is why she like organized society to like wear all black and shit. But over the next seventeen years, her and Albert had eight other children. 
Those are some ugly Christ. ass babies. There was Albert Edward, Alice, Alfred, Helena, oh. Louise, Arthur, Leopold, and Beatrice. So she's like Beatrice. Just popping out kids left and right. No succession problems for my family. <laughs> it's like a machine gun. Of the, the last few couple bursts, though, she discovered chloroform. Oh, no. So she just started pass, you know, just taking She's a bunch of like, chloroform. Yeah. Just knock me out, fam. <laughs> <laughs> These babies will pop out by themselves. Yeah, what do you want, my queen? Fucking give me that good shit. <laughs> give me the good stuff. <laughs> give me that baby birth and juice. <laughs> Sorry. Cover my mouth. <laughs> Wait till I almost die. That sounds wrong. That's not the right term. Baby <laughs> the birth. baby birthing juice. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's an epidural. <laughs> it, during the the birthing of all these children in 1844, the Irish potato famine happened, where over a million Irishmen died of starvation. And Britain was very sad. Britain Britain pumping out was like, um, what potato famine? Huh? Nah, well, uh, why are you all hungry over day? <laughs> Want some of our shit pie? <laughs> Have a lack of potatoes over there, don't you? <laughs> we really could use some potatoes over here. <laughs> we have a distinct lack of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have perhaps had other food other than potatoes. <laughs> haggis. Wait, that's a Scotland. That's, oh, no, that's wrong. Scotland ate haggis only. Ireland ate potatoes only. And England eats shit pie. Shit, only. <laughs> <laughs> shit pie. <laughs> Shit and chips. <laughs> <laughs> and your beer sucks too. Sorry, England. Beer. All right. Australian for beer. So, four years after the birth of their last child, Albert Jesus Christ. contracts typhoid fever. Man, this typhoid's just like the silent killer. <laughs> it's like, remember when typhoid came at the beginning? And he's back. <laughs> and he dies in 1861. Oh. And that is when Victoria starts wearing black all the time. Is after her man died. Emo chick. Yep, and that's that's what it is. She started listening to My Chemical Romance. Yeah, uh, she she She's started wearing black all the time. She started just staying away from everyone again, very secluded. And then she also just started to eat. She ate a lot, and she got and she ate that. More. <laughs> that's what happened. You know, because <laughs> when you eat a lot. And then she got. Everyone deals with tragedy. <laughs> Everyone deals with tragedy in their own way, and she chose by getting fat <laughs> to eat. Yes, everyone. There's there is a god sized hole that is left at all of us. <laughs> fill it with cake. And shit and some pie. people fill it with cake. <laughs> Others alcohol. Others babies. <laughs> some god. <laughs> some god. So, about due to her seclusion. <laughs> More of the Republican uh, protests started happening. More, why do we have a monarchy? She's not fucking doing anything. We could do this ourselves. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just like, so what is this archaic shit? He's just eating. It's like, leave the pile of food on the front step <laughs> every day. I present my cake as tribute. <laughs> <laughs> to the point where... They, like, roll her out. <laughs> in 1864, a protester stuck a notice on the railings of Buckingham Palace. You're too fat. <laughs> that announced <laughs> these commanding premises to be let or sold in consequence of the late occupants declining business because she wasn't there. So they were just like, "What well, if you're not going to fucking use it? We're going to sell the bitch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's some smoke. But, you know, she's there's smoke. Started coming out a little There's more fire. after that. She's like, oh, okay, fine. fine. She just rolls down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> and then She's riding down the street. Where's the, the royal scooter. roller? Please roll me the Schweizer. It's the guy with a two by four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the royal roller. <laughs> In 1871, they had to put like the Violet Beauregard and fucking Willy Wonka. Yeah, <laughs> they put the carpet down though, wherever she rolls, <laughs> like the red carpet, the royal carpet. Let it keep going. So then what happened? <laughs> but in 1871, she contracted an abscess on her arm. Oh, a fat sex. <laughs> which was life-threatening, but a doctor managed to lance it off, and she survived. So Lancelot. <laughs> and also around that time, the Prince of Wales, Albert Edward, 
contracted typhoid fever. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> huh? Typhoid fever is like an assassin. I swear to God. But he actually survived. <laughs> is, is it like an actual person in yeah, his master assassin? <laughs> oh and my it, God, I think that was typhoid fever. <laughs> all the texts, everyone's just like, oh, it's typhoid. The You know, like the, the fever that you get. But like, it's really actually a person that yeah, was Yeah, why is there always typhoid? a picture of a very strapping man? <laughs> <laughs> typhoid fever is the name. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Fever. Typhoid, typhoid fever. fever. <laughs> my lady. <laughs> <laughs> but a, after they both pulled through their separate diseases, they did a little, you know, run around town and her, and her poll numbers boosted again because, hey, the queen lived. Because British people still, in their heart, love the monarchy. Start singing songs. And, and in their hearts still do. <laughs> yeah. Weirdos. Yeah. What is your obsession with it? It's like, oh, we got the monarchy and it's like, it's been here for so long that we don't want to get rid of. It's like just. Not even the kids want to be part of it. Just like let it go. <laughs> Think about the children. Uh, and so, you know, she's just hanging out. The con- mo- constitutional monarchy. She's pretty much just figurehead now. She's just hanging out. Laws are being passed. She's like, okay, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Don't make sure there's food in them laws. <laughs> <laughs> Did you fill it with custard. <laughs> And then 18, by my decree. In 1887, she <laughs> the had a custard decree. A golden jubilee celebrating her 50 years as queen. Damn. It's a while. Then t- 10 years later, she had a diamond jubilee. 60 years. So when queen. she was queen from 18? Yep. So she was getting old. She was, yeah. She's, what, 68 here? She's 78 right now. 78. For the diamond oh, jubilee. Horrible math off the top of my head. <laughs> And she, in January of nineteen, wait, why would she be seventy eight? That meant she got well because the fifty year one, she'd be sixty eight. But then the sixty year one was oh. the diamond. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so yeah. we're on the sixty year. I thought we yeah. were on the fifty year. Yeah, okay. we're on sixty year. Diamond seventy eight. You're right. The diamond. Diamond jubilee. Diamond jubilee. Diamonds are forever. In January eighty one or nineteen oh one. She has cataracts, can't see shit. She's just aching all the time. She doesn't feel good. <laughs> Got the cake disease. And then she just dies. 81 years old. <laughs> I don't feel good and I die. <laughs> I'm out. Peace. So she reigned for <laughs> Piece s- of cake. 60. <laughs> <laughs> she reigned for 63 years, seven months, and two days, which made her the Damn. longest reigning British monarch and the longest reigning queen in world history until her great great granddaughter. Elizabeth II surpassed her in 2015. And she's nice. still not dead. <laughs> yeah. Still going, man. Still trucking. So we lived in the same generation as Victoria. And see, that's what's funny about it. It's like Victoria, you know, it, yeah, b- was getting to a more modern era. You know, they were able to f- lance off uh, abscesses. Gr- abscesses. But, um, Eat cake. you know, like I think Elizabeth, the reason she's able to last so long is obviously she lives in the era of modern medicine and all of the. Uh, Against God's will, Elizabeth <laughs> reigns. <laughs> Prince Philip will never get that shit. <laughs> it's like if you no, know, if God had his way, typhoid fever would have taken Elizabeth out like thrown it thirty years ago. <laughs> I'm typhoid fever the third, <laughs> and I've come for my yeah. bitches. Yeah, typhoid <laughs> fever is freaking great, great nephew would have. <laughs> I've been hiding out. Would have assassinated her. Be like the Count of Monte Cristo or friggin' something. Zorro, just keep him in a cage for a while. <laughs> he finally gets out. <laughs> so her kids also, she's nicknamed the grandmother of Europe. So her first daughter, Victoria, <laughs> married Frederick of Prussia. And their first child was Wilhelm. Yeah. Who ended up being the last German emperor. Wilhelm II. The last. Kaiser Wilhelm. Who abdicated in 1918. After World War One. Yep. Then her daughter had a daughter, Alice, who married Tsar Nicholas, and she took the name Alexandra Fyodorova. Fyodorova. Yeah. I'm pronouncing that. Yeah, better. you're pronouncing it wrong, but it's okay because we'd pronounce everything wrong. Yeah, especially <laughs> me. We Don't talked worry. about we talked about the Czars, you know, in a past episode. Czars. So Victoria was 
related to them. And most of her grandchildren, great grandchildren, became kings, queens, royalty, automobiles, Romania, <laughs> Greece, cars, Sweden, <laughs> planes, Germany. Like at one point or another, dancers. <laughs> The most reliable running line of law enforcement vehicles <laughs> Ford has to offer. <laughs> so at one point or another, her bloodline ruled all of Europe. Your but, blood rules. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Norway. Blood full of Russia. Carbs. <laughs> <laughs> There's no blood in this baby. It's just fully cholesterol. <laughs> the fattest baby. And then the baby died. Damn. So that's it. That is all. The that hole is Victoria. The cake hole. So we went down today. If you know anything, Victoria in all of her glory. Glory. And there was a lot of glory. There was a lot of Victoria. Once that. Oh, and hole. she's also always characterized as being very stern. You know, with the black. Stern. Hair. But apparently, she laughed a lot. She, she cracked jokes. Ha ha ha! In between the. I cake don't know eating. who she told those jokes to. But she told it to the cake. <laughs> she told it to Albert. Albert at his grave after he was dead. No, I'm just kidding. You Eating and your cake. You and your grave. pretty teeth, Albert. <laughs> God damn your it! Your pristine, teeth were sexy as shit. Your pristine teeth. Oh, your teeth make me so hot. All right. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. Me bloomer's gonna get a bunch. <laughs> that's it for Queen Victoria. The Victoria. The wonderful life. Of Queen Vic. <laughs> Check it this fall on NBC. <laughs> Queen Vicky. All right. So, yeah, I don't know what we're doing next week. We'll figure it out. But, <laughs> but yeah. It'll happen. I'll leave you with this. Life is full of holes. Enter wisely. Bye now. Good day. Good day.